So we haven't been able to decide what to talk about because there are so many wonderful things. But between porn and masturbating and the relationship... And or panty sniffing. Let's go panty sniffing. It's <laughs> <laughs> such a dirty little girl. See, I can't smell anything, but sometimes I like to put my nose up against balls. I think I smell something. It's a texture. Maybe it's a texture, but I kind of like that. <laughs> it's so squishy. And it's very sexual. They call it the old factorial side of sex. Well, now you think back on different lovers you've had over the years. Um, I mean, I can anyway. <laughs> over whole many, bag. many years. Oh, bag. And I was always kind of tuned into the, the smell of yeah, sex. Absolutely. The mm. other thing that, you know, because in the workshop I had, every, I had all the women, they insert their finger inside their vagina. And taste it. You have to taste and it. And come up and do a nice sniff and then mm. um, what the get taste in like? touch. Yeah, come on. It, own it. So a lot of women would. I remember one woman, she actually I said, do this. She watched me do it. And she went, oh. <laughs> She gabs. <laughs> if you rub right in the crease where your leg meets your outer labia, you just, you know, like just rub in there meaningfully and then come back up and just see what you smell like. This is the scent of your sex. It's got all the hormones mixed mm. in. It's delicious. The pheromones. Yes. Yes. It's yummy. <laughs> we don't know how we smell. We've lost this ability. Now, how would a guy find out how he smelled? Same thing. Same thing. Get behind your testicles. Go on the side of your legs. Rub. Smell. Do a nice, nice rub for a, few, a moment or two. And then just come up and take a nice slow inhale. What's your favorite sex smell? Me. Really? You like yourself the most? Yeah. I used to have a boyfriend that used to smell my armpits all the time and lick them. Well, see, there you go. The Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> oh! And Betty didn't know what it was, and then she's like, oh, that happened. Tell them the story. Oh, the Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> Actually, I was in Europe at a sex party, and this was in English. In London. In London, darling. I think it was Amsterdam, but he was from London. And Heinz was such a character. We all loved him. And I had never had anybody really do any, pus, you know, Kinky. anal play with me. I mean, oh, oh, no. You had your first anal play in an orgy. I love this. <laughs> Go on. Well, I mean, he was doing it kind of nice and sweet. Soft. Because when I was in my early 20s, I had one of my boyfriends, and we came home a little high from a, a, <laughs> a date, and we sort of fell on the floor and were scrambling around. Wrong hole. Wrong hole. That wow! <laughs> <laughs> And that's usually what gets women off of anal play. But this time, for the it was next different. twenty years, nobody went near my butthole <laughs> until the orgy. Until the orgy, and I'm of course I'm quite turned on. It's an extraordinary image, sounds, everything. And he has his finger inside my butthole, and he brings it up and puts it under my nose, and I went. Mm. And he's fucking you from behind. Yes, and and then he starts to pull it away, and I pull it back. <laughs> that's when you know you're having sex with a dirty hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Let AdamEve.com spice up your routine. Right now, you'll save 50% on one item when you enter the offer code POD10 at checkout. So go to AdamEve.com and add some spice to your life.